Hi guys, it's Eva from Destination Collective and in today's video I'm going to talk you through my top tips for a swimwear beach photo shoot. The photo shoot that I'm going to take you through today took place on a Costa Rican beach. We were shooting for Elizabeth Valverde swimmer collection. As we'll be going through that photo shoot, I'm gonna show you my final results. I'm gonna give you my best insights and my top tips step by step to help you achieve a similar look. So before the day of your actual photo shoot, I would strongly, strongly advise you to go through your pre-production stage really carefully and really pay attention to the point of location spotting. I know that every photo shoot is different and sometimes we either work with such tight deadlines or we were planning a photo shoot that's gonna take place somewhere so far away that you're physically not able to show up on a place and check how the location looks yourself before you actually shoot there. But if that's not the case for you and you're planning a photo shoot in your local area, I would definitely advise you to go to the location yourself before you start shooting there. Doing that will help you find those five, six, seven spots, different spots within one location that you can then plan and start visualizing specific shots that you'll take there. So for example, on our secret beach in Costa Rica, we had a chance to utilize multiple locations within that one beach. We had a chance to shoot on the rocks, on the beach itself. We used a variety of textures. And this particular photo was taken in a small jungle leading us to the beach. So as you can see, we had a beautiful light flicking through those palm leaves. We've got loads of greenery, very intense textures behind the model. So I decided to go really low with my f-stop to create beautiful bokeh, really soft backdrop and focus on my model space. It's also worth mentioning that she's wearing a red outfit that contrasts really nicely with the green backdrop. So altogether, the combination of this spot and model's outfit looks really fresh. Tip number two, bring some movement to your photos. So this particular tip relates to directing your model during your photo shoot. So on a day of your photo shoot, as you are out there with your model, it's super important to build that relationship and not be shy to direct your model and help her or him pose. I really encourage Lizbeth to move around as much as I can. In order to help her with that, uh, she always was carrying some kind of a prop. So just to bring you an example, on this particular look, Lizbeth was using two props. First of all, orange overlay, so you could see that for those lifestyle shots, she was moving around, throwing it up in the air. It also really helped her to move her body in a natural way. And on this photo, she was playing with sunglasses. So I just asked her to take her sunglasses off, put them back on, and I kept shooting as she kept repeating the same movement. So in my opinion, it brought this extra element to those photos and made it so much more interesting over a simple static post photo. Tip number three, plan your looks in detail. So this tip might relate to you, it might relate to the stylist that you'll be working with, or it might relate to the brand that you're working with. Nevertheless, it's worth remembering that it is a swimwear that you're gonna be selling with those photos. However, the overall look can be a make or break to the whole shot. So just a few elements that you might want to consider when you're pre-planning your looks are jewelry, hairstyles, maybe different types of makeup if you have that chance, uh, some extra hair elements or prop that would match the style of the look you're going for. So all the elements I've mentioned so far were essential building blocks to help me get the results of those photos. However, experimenting with natural light is a big one. So as you could see so far, I've utilized multiple different spots on that beach. However, every single spot that I used not only provided me with different textures and different backgrounds, it has also provided me with different light. And that's for two reasons. So the first reason was model placement, right? So on some of those photos, Lisbeth is facing the sun. On some other photos, she is stood sideways, creating a um, shadow on one side of her face. And on this photo, for example, I've captured Lisbeth um, stood backlit. She has the sun right behind her. And I've got to be honest, this is my favorite set from the whole photo shoot. I think that playing with the sun, going for an angle that wouldn't be classified as a go-to angle during the photo shoot, just because it's, it ultimately dims your 
um, model's face. I think that the combination of Lisbeth outfit, black outfit, her wet hair, this edgy look and um, the light that we got on that photo just makes an insane complete photo altogether. So changing models position to the sun is one thing and the second thing is the timing. So with that photo shoot we started in the afternoon and we kept shooting until the sunset. So as the sun was moving constantly you can imagine that every 20 to 30 minutes we had a completely different light that was changing the look. So this set with Lisbeth wearing a green outfit was shot during golden hour and you can see what it helped us achieve. So the first thing is that beautiful glow on our model skin. I honestly think that there is a special magic that Golden Hour creates that is just purely irreplaceable. We also took these photos in a place where we had our model beautifully lit up and we got some contrasty shadows behind Lisbeth as well as some shadows coming from the leaves. So that gave those photos this extra depth as well as this tropical exotic feeling. You can see the shadows coming from Lisbeth hats or you can see uh, some delicate shadows from the palm leaves dropping on her body and around her. And again, her green bikini mixed with the beautiful orange glow and the warmth uh, of the setting sun make this photo so special in my eyes. All right, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you've got any questions about photography or that particular photo shoot, make sure to drop your questions in the comment section. And if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button because we've got so many more videos coming your way. Many more tips about photography and videography. See you next time.